Hey guys, welcome back. This is the Spirit Mongo 187, and welcome back for another match of Shadow Era. We have only won one game, so we have 153 rating. I played some matches offline, I think, maybe one or two. Uh, and the last video that I uploaded with the, the Crazy Boris deck. Uh, so that was really the first match uh, that I played online. Uh, let's see here what we're going to get rid of. Um, it's the Ironite Garage, and we're going to Antonia. So let's just put on some music, and we're ready to go. Give our opponent the high, have fun. So what we are playing today here is a Terra Adun deck. I never played with Terra Adun, and just because of this low rating, I just want to play it uh, once, just like the Boris uh, Boris deck. Just want to show off some cool ideas that I have, and maybe these decks will work, but I do not think so. Because still, in my opinion, Amber Rain is one of the best deck, together with Zaladar and um, maybe Lance Shadow Stalker. Yeah, but these decks are fun to play with, and yeah, I cannot screw up really much with this low uh, ranking, so so why not? Let's get rid of this Fury and Terra because it's going to die pretty easy versus this ability. And we'll just hit him in the face for 2. And we'll just enter him here. So let's hope we're going to get a win out of this and gain some more rating. Because I really want to hit some prizes this month. And if I didn't misread it, uh, in the startup menu you see. I saw somewhere that you, um, what is it, uh, the rating will be reset after every month, so let's get rid of this morbid acolyte, and yep, it was smart of me to keep the blood frenzy in hand, so we have a backup, and here we go, having another blood frenzy, and his server dice is gone, so let's hope he doesn't have another server dice. And we'll just keep the blood friends in play, keep drawing some more cards, and keep applying pressure. So there comes a lightning strike, taking out my garage and dealing my some, me some damage. That sucks. And the Christopher well, that's a surprise. But we have to watch out that we aren't taking too many damage. Um, well, 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 what do we want to get rid of? We want to get rid of this or this. No, I do want to keep both of them, and I think I want to play the Dimensional Reaper. So let's get rid of the Shadow Knight. I think. Yep. We'll just start hitting the Christopher Wild here. I don't care. We're going to draw a card. This is really nice because we are going to draw some burn card from this library. So that's nice. Well, I'm not a big fan of this card, Dimensional Reaper. I never played it before. I think only once in my Zelda deck I tested it out. I'm not a fan of it. So. And he drew a Dead Mage. Pretty nice. Pretty nice draw for him there. And there comes a Bad Santa. And we can get rid of, well, we have so many good cards here. Let's get rid of, um, let's drop out this one here. So just give a fireball to that mage, because I want it gone. And we'll just drop out our own dead mage. And I should have attack first, because I would draw a card, maybe I drew something better to play. But it doesn't matter, we'll just attack him. Give us both of us another extra card. And there's a Christopher Wild. It's nice to sacrifice next turn. And yeah, as you can see I just built this deck. I haven't really added the sleeves on it, the King Sprite sleeves that I use for most of my decks. So now I do not know if he has holding a card of mine. But it doesn't matter. It's just for playing uh, for fun this deck. Ok, 
Okay, there we have an army brave. He's going to use his ability to kill my dead mage. He has two mana left, or two shadow energy. Let's get rid of this shadow font. And we'll just play this one on his Alden. And we'll play this one over here. And the Christopher Wild. And we're going to hit the Puin in the face. He's going to die, doesn't matter. And we're going to hit the Puin again. No, we're not going to use our ability. My bad. We're going to hit the Puin again. Hoping we will draw a fireball or something. But we didn't. But there's a Priest of the Light. And that's pretty nice as well. And let's hope he's not drawing any good cards from my library and I really need to damage him pretty quick because I'm at low health as well so so next turn we'll get out a priest of light I think and play this card on my ally over here there comes a Puin okay we can get rid of our own server ties and I'm going to drop out Priest of Light, I think. Or this one, plus one health is that fast. Hmm. What to do, what to do? Let's just drop out this one. And let's finish off the death mage. So I really have to do everything I can to keep control of the board. There we have a retreat drone for my deck. And yeah, we have to make a bit, little bit of haste here because he's going to do three damage now, and then I'm at 15 health, and I'm going to lose one life because of the blood frenzy. I would be at 14 health. With 3 more damage here, that would mean I'm at 11 health. No, he's taking the, the allies. Okay, no problem. 3 resources left, fireball in my face. Okay. Well, that's nothing I can use. So let's get rid of the smashing blow. Um, what to do, what to do, what to do, how many does this have? Well, let's attack him first. First things first. Take him down to 17. Let's play a blood frenzy. Let's disable him. And play this Minotaur, it will just end turn. So he has so many cards in his hands, he's going to freeze in this turn. Yeah, I do think this deck is pretty crappy, and I don't know if there are any good Terrodun decks. Maybe they are, but I haven't seen them. The ability is, is quite useful, because you can destroy any weapon or artifact or something and play. That's really nice, but in this game I haven't used the ability the whole game. But he's holding back with his uh, Dome of Knowledges, I think. There is what he drew from my library. That we can destroy. Using our ability, destroying it. We want that one gone. We're going to give him one more damage. And give it steadfast. And we cross this one. And we'll just bring back this one. Now we can't use that on our own allies. Target allies return to its owner's hand. And I should be able to cast it on this one. But maybe it's a bug. 
I do think it's a bug. Uh, let's just undo it. Yeah. Yeah, I should be able to retrieve my own ally. Maybe I can't because it's frozen, but that just makes no sense. Well, I guess the supernova is heading our way. Yep. And I think I just forgot to attack this turn. But it doesn't matter. This is a crappy deck anyways, I see now. I haven't, uh, yeah, maybe I told you before, I haven't tested it. This is really the first match that I played with it. I only played once against the, the AI. So let's use our ability to... Well, we can just the dust punch, of course not. Let's uh, attack him in the face. Give him some damage. Play a bad center. And we're going to die because of our own blood frenzy. Let's give him the GG. Yeah, next time will be Amber Rain again. Unless I come up with another good idea to build any crazy decks. And I'll just show them all. Because I'm. I can afford it to be not really serious uh, about raiding and things like that. So when I'm going to play Amber Rain again, I'm going to kick some asses and yeah, then my raiding will go off again. But uh, yeah, it doesn't matter. I just like to uh, show you guys some fun decks and maybe you can improve them or show me how good a Terra Dune deck is. Uh, if you have something, uh, a good Terra Dune deck or something, just place it in the comments and maybe I'll build it and just show it off. Or uh, I'm just going to play some Amber Rain again. So I hope you liked this match. Do not forget to like, subscribe, comment and we'll see you next match. Cheers!